they did an echocardiogram, which is a sonogram of the heart, and found that Billy was born with um, a heart disease. It's hard to explain. Basically, the pulmonary valve was completely blocked, and he has a, a hole in the wall between the left and right sides of his heart. And on Monday morning, Dr. Starnes opened his chest and fixed one of the two defects in his heart. He went in there with a scalpel and did some kind of magic that I, I couldn't even begin to explain. He opened the valve and the operation was a success. It was the longest three hours of my life. That is the monologue from late night comedian Jimmy Kimmel that most of us have seen at this point as he explained those scary moments, his newborn son who was born with a heart defect. Thankfully, he's passed this big hurdle, but th it's far from over. And sadly, Kimmel's story isn't unique as one in 100 newborns are born with a congenital heart defect. And you may not know by looking at her right now, but this is little Gemma. Stark. She is three years old and she's with her mom, Stephanie. They live here in the Valley. Thank you for joining us here this morning. Thank you, Tess. This story hits all too close to home because Jenna was born three years ago. Everything seemed fine. Days later, you were back at PCH and she was clinging to life. Yeah, it was very, very scary. Um, as a mom, you know, you worry about the health of your baby. That's all that really matters. Sure. And at a day old, we were at Phoenix Children's and the neonatologist couldn't tell me if she would even survive the day. Wow. Um, we didn't know what was wrong at first, and they came back and said she was missing half of her heart. Half of her heart? It just didn't grow. Oh and my goodness. The uh, ultrasound missed it, just like Jimmy Kimmel's son. Um, had no idea this was even possible to deliver a child without all of the organs intact. Um, but not only did they, but they saved her life. Um, a week later, she had her first open heart surgery. She's since had three, and we're getting ready for another one um, this year or next. As we look at some of the pictures, especially seeing an infant, you know, all those tubes hooked up in the hospital like that, what was going through your mind at that point? Um, <clears throat> it's okay. Three years out and still, um, it, even watching Jimmy Kimmel's segment was hard. My husband and I had to start and stop it three or four times. Um, it's terrifying. Um, you quickly realize what matters. Um, uh, it made us realize that all we want as a family is to be healthy and be together. Um, it, it's literally, it's a nightmare. Jimmy Kimmel said it so well. You're living a nightmare. And, and that's a scary part because, you know, she looks great right now. Gemma is a happy, regular three-year-old, but she has a long road ahead of her. This is, there is no cure. Right. That's what people don't understand. So, you know, Jimmy Kimmel's son, Gemma, they have surgery. And these physicians, these surgeons are miracle workers. They're amazing. But they haven't found a cure yet. So that's why when we left, we took, brought in a dying baby of Phoenix children, and we left with this. <laughs> so we went home and said, we're going to do all that we can to help these physicians and help these surgeons so they can help all the babies. Because that was the thing. Like Jimmy had said, you walk the halls and you see room after room of sick yeah. babies. It's, it's heartbreaking. So we started a, a nonprofit to help raise funds and awareness for this all too common disease. That nonprofit is called Heart Effect. They began it just a year ago. So Erica Endicott is joining us right yes. now. You're on the board. I know we all have, uh, we're trying to hold back the tears here. <laughs> Talk about the severity of this because people don't realize, you heard that number, one in 100 kids with a, a congenital heart defect. That is huge. It's huge. And you know, that, that equates to about 40,000 children born each year in the United wow. States. It's something as common as autism and yet most people have never heard of it. My son was also born with a congenital heart defect and we actually had a mutual friend that kept saying, you need to know Stephanie, you need to know Stephanie, you need to know Stephanie. And we spent about a year and a half fighting for our son's life. And um, once we kind of got through that battle, I connected with Stephanie. She put together this incredible team of people, um, parents and professionals all throughout the Valley that want to give back, um, that want to talk about these, these children, these heart defects, and then also what's going on in our hospital and uh, what we can do back. So that's what we can do to give back. So that's exactly what we're doing today. And it is amazing what's happening at PCH, and you guys have a hefty goal, raising a million dollars, <laughs> going towards education, of course, and helping with programs, but also to help in the research. Yes. 
Talk about what's happening at PCH right now. Well, we're doing a lot of things. We're leading a national study um, that's doing a number of things. You can see our 3D models here, some of the things that are going on with our cardiac 3D print lab. Um, but we also have a surgeon scientist leading um, a multi-center research project. And that's actually what we're going to be raising money for just in about two weeks. Um, we've awesome. We're inviting everyone out to um, the hospital on the evening of May 16th. Um, they can come out, learn more information about what we're doing, kind of talk to us, talk to other parents, talk to our doctors and our surgeons, meet our staff and learn what you can also do to help and give back. Well, the organization, the call, again, is called Heart Effect. We're going to put all the information on azfamily.com. Mm -hmm. We will continue to pray for Gemma and think of your family and your son as well because we know it's, it's, it doesn't end. There is no end to this. So, um, And you said the only thing really that could ever fix this or not even that would be a secure thing would be a heart transplant. Yeah, that's what a lot of these kids are looking at. And for a disease that's wow. more common than all forms of pediatric can cancer combined, we need more research. It's absolutely unacceptable that there's not better awareness and research. So our gratitude to, just a second, to Jimmy Kimmel for bringing awareness to this very important well, cause. Thank you, ladies. You what do you see? Thank you. What do you see, Gemma? Is that you? She's looking at herself in the monitor behind us. Can I have a hug? Can you say a hug? And she's holding her heart there. Yeah, you want to show Miss Tess your heart? Show her your heart. Again, guys, go to azfamily.com. Thank you. And <laughs> Thank do it for so kids much. like Gemma. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>